It is said one of the best ways to reduce your risk of getting an infection or picking up a virus is to not touch your face. Can we use artificial intelligence to predict or detect when I'm about to touch my face? We are gonna find out, sit tight. Thanks for coming back. Mike Spizak here yet again in Spies Lab. Before I get into anything today, I just wanna say that I truly hope that you, your family, your friends, you're in touch, you're safe, and you're healthy. We will get through this. Make sure you get in your movement and your exercise. Try to have some decent nutrition, but above all, keep a positive mental mindset. That's the most important thing. Keep your mind busy, read, do some puzzles, take on a new challenge. Which brings me to today's topic. Okay, by now the message should be somewhat clear. Your hands are not your friends when it comes to touching your face. Health officials have told us repeatedly that if we touch something contaminated, and we wouldn't necessarily know it, putting your hands near your eyes, nose, and mouth offers easy access for bacteria and virus to enter our bodies. And this is not easy advice to follow. In fact, one study, link is in the description, found that medical students touch their faces on average of 23 times during a lecture. And let's face it, when someone tells you to not touch your face, all of a sudden, your face gets itchy and you need to touch it, like right now. <laughs> ah! Now, before I get into using machine learning and artificial intelligence, I wanted to see how big of a problem this really was for me. So I went and got one of my extra cameras and I set it up inside Spies Lab. Now, if anyone asked me at the end of this how many times I thought I touched my face, I would have said none, zero, zilch, especially because I was trying really, really hard consciously to not touch my face. And here's what happened. I'm totally touching my face right now. Don't do it, don't you do it. Ah! <laughs> this is a lot harder than it sounds. Okay, so as you can tell, there was definitely some face touching happening there. I started to think about different ways that I could detect if I was touching my face. And I thought it would be fun to experiment with artificial intelligence and machine learning. So what's the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning? I'm gonna tell you. This is a pretty deep subject, but for now, let's just say that machine learning is a subset or branch of artificial intelligence. Machine learning are algorithms that have the ability to learn from past experience or historical data. One of the most popular machine learning programming interfaces is called TensorFlow. It's an open source artificial intelligence library created by Google used for building and programming models. And yes, they have a JavaScript interface. As of right now, that's my favorite programming language. I started by checking out their website. There's a link in the description below. And on their website is a bunch of examples and materials to get you started. I found an existing model of something called body segmentation. It's basically a machine learning model that was developed to look at images or a video feed to detect different parts of the body. So it learned and can identify a head, hands, arms, legs, torso. I thought to myself, this could be interesting. Maybe I use a webcam to monitor section of my face. I could use this machine learning model to detect different body parts. And if my hands came close to my face, I could send an alert. So I fired up one of the demos that comes with this library and found that it was really, really good at detecting my eyes and my nose. As you can see, it has detection of my wrists and my shoulders. So I started really simple. Basically what I would do is detect if my hands were over my shoulders and within the proximity of my face, then I could send an alert. So I played with this for a little bit, but just determined that this may not be the best approach. The model was having a hard time because I think I was too close to the camera and it was just detecting too many false positives. The more I thought about it, I realized the camera is two dimensional. So it can't really tell the difference if I'm moving my hands in front of my face versus reaching up to touch my face. So next, I decided to turn to something called image classification. This is an approach where computers learn to recognize patterns in images and video feeds. And it does this based on a relationship of nearby pixels within an image, which is also called a neighborhood. For this, TensorFlow also has an interface and it's called Teachable Machine. Teachable Machine, without any code, allows you to define two or more models or categories. Then you can train the computer to identify and understand the differences between these two models. Let's go ahead and do an example. 
I figured what I would do is use an image class library of me not touching my face and then make a second class with me actually touching my face and see if the computer can tell the difference. So inside Teachable Machine, what I did was I went ahead into class one and let's go ahead and change the name of this to something like not touching face. I'm gonna use my webcam to add some sample images. We're gonna allow it. We're gonna take a whole bunch of pictures of me not touching my face. You hold down this button to record, a couple of samples. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and make a second class and we're gonna call this one touching face. Use the webcam, allow it. But before I touch my face, let's go clean our hands. My hands are so red and dry and cracked from washing them so much. Okay, let's hold down the button to record and I'm going to touch my face. Okay, I got about 400 pictures of me touching my face. Now, once I have these two models done, we're gonna go ahead and train the model. This might take a few minutes. And then now, without writing any code, I can test the model by turning on the webcam. And you can see down here, okay, definitely not touching my face, touching my face, not touching my face. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that does a really good job. Now, I can come up here and export the model, and then it automatically generates a snippet of JavaScript. Once this code is in your editor, you can now modify it however you want. Now here's where you gotta get creative. Okay, now that you have your model downloaded and the example snippet of JavaScript that was generated for you, you bring it into a code editor. Now for our little example, again, I wanted to do something simple like play a sound when it detects that I'm close to touching my face. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and just end up here to where the HTML is. And we are going to enter in an audio tag. Now I recorded an MP3 file earlier using Audacity, or you can also use QuickTime or something local to your machine. Basically record any kind of sound you want and export it as an MP3 file. And I've given this little audio tag an ID of my audio. And the source of it points to the MP3 file that we're gonna play. Next, we're gonna declare a variable and we'll call it no touch audio. And that will be set to the document element by ID. And the idea of that is going to be my audio. Now all we do is need to create a new function. We'll call that function play audio. And this is super easy. We just reference the no touch audio dot play. And that's it. Now, anytime I want to play that audio, I just run the play audio function. We're going to try to figure out where in the code the output of the prediction comes. So all the way down here at the bottom, there is this function called predict. So if the value of this guy is greater than let's say 75%, we want to play audio. Okay, so we're totally not touching face. Let's see. Stop touching your face. Oh. Stop touching your face. <laughs> Stop touching your face. I'm not. Stop touching your face. <laughs> Stop touching your face. Okay. Stop. Okay, so clearly we need to adjust the th the uh, the tolerance threshold here a little bit. But as you can tell, it was actually pretty accurate in determining when I was touching my face. Also, the interesting thing about machine learning is the more data you feed it, the more accurate it becomes. If you remember from when we originally built the model, I think I only gave it about 200 pictures of me not touching my face and about 400 or so of me actually touching my face. If I were to feed that with more examples of me touching my face in different settings, with different lighting, with different backgrounds, the machine learning model would just get better and better at predicting when I was actually getting ready or actually touching my face. Okay, now is this practical for everyday use? Probably not. Am I gonna have a camera on my face 24 seven? Probably not. I could think of some clever uses for it. Maybe use this on a Raspberry Pi and attach it to a hat. But I did learn about artificial intelligence, machine learning, and image classification. And picked up some tips about not touching my face along the way. That's it for me. I hope you found this video useful, informative, 
and kind of entertaining. I want to hear about your awesome and creative ideas for using machine learning or image classification. Please leave me a comment down below. If you thought this was fun or interesting and just like hanging out, please consider hitting that subscribe button over there. Go ahead and tap the like button. I'm going to do a little more training on this model and I will see you next time.